Assalamualaikum viewers. Today in this tutorial we learn about that the method of inverse and direct. We have the two methods of variation which is direct variation and inverse variation. So now we start first we have part number one which is if y varies directly as x and y is equal to 8 x is equal to 2 find y when x is equal to 5 so if y directly proportional to x it means that if y increase then x increase and if y decrease then x will be decreased so we find y when x is equal to 5 we now in the statement that y directly proportional to x and y is equal to kx is equal to k k is the proportion sign k is called proportionality So y is equal to kx, this is the first equation. So we put x is equal to 5 and k which is equal to 4. We now the k value in we have y divided by x is equal to k and y is equal to 8 x is equal to 2 is equal to k which is equal to 4 then k is equal to 4 so we put put k is equal to 4 and x is equal to given which is 5 in equation 1 so we have y is equal to 4 and 5 which is equal to 20 First we know the statement if y directly proportional to x so y is equal to 8 and x is equal to 2 and find y when x is equal to 5. So y directly proportional to x we have y is equal to kx and k is called proportionality. Sign so k we find first so we have 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 4. So we put k is equal to 4 and x is equal to 5 in equation number 2 1 to find the value of y which is equal to 20. Next we have Next we have If y directly proportional to x If y directly proportional to x And y is equal to 7 x is equal to 3 find y in term of x so first we have given that y directly proportional to x and y is equal to kx this is the first equation we put y is equal to 7 and x is equal to 3 to find the value of k so 7 is equal to k3 and 7 by 3 is equal to k so we put in first equation y is equal to 7 by 3x. This is the term which we find that if y in term of x. So we find y in term of x. 7 by 3 by x. First we have if y directly proportional to x, we write if y is equal to kx, we find the value of k which is 7 by 3, then we put in the first equation to now y in term of x which is equal to y is equal to 7 by 3 x. The next question we have are... are directly proportional to t squared and r is equal to 8 when t is equal to 3 find r when t is equal to 6 so first we know that given that that 
आर डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टी स्केयर तो आर इज इक्वल टू के टी स्केयर इज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एंड टी टू नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ के सो वी हैव ए आर इज इक्वल टू एट एंड टी इज इक्वल टू थ्री एट एंड थ्री विच इज एट बाय नाइन इज इक्वल टू के पुट इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो वी हैव आर इज इक्वल टू एट बाय नाइन and we find the value of, find the value of r so we have t is equal to 6 so we put t is equal to 6 and r is equal to 8 by 9 6 square 8 by 9 36 and g is equal to 32 So first we have r directly proportional to t square, and we have r is equal to eight when t is equal to three. Find r when t is equal to six. So first we have given which is r directly proportional to t square. Directly sign will be replaced to k, and this is the first equation. So we know the value of r and t. We put in this equation to know the value of k, which is eight by nine. Put the value of eight by nine into equation number one. So we have find the value of r, which is when t is equal to six. So we put t is equal to six. The required answer of r, which is equal to thirty two. Next we have the questions which is in the form of equation. W inversely proportional to one by z, and W is equal to five, z is equal to seven. Find y W when z is equal to one seventy five by four. In inversion, we have if W increase, then z decrease, and when z increase, then W decrease. So this is a this is called invariant variation. So we have given that W directly proportional to one by z. So W is equal to k z. This is called first equation. Put value of W and z. So we have W which is equal to five. At z which is seven, so k is equal to thirty five. Put in equation number one to find the value of w. So we have w is equal to thirty five divided by z which is one seventy five by four. So four will be moved to upper which is thirty five multiply four divided by one seventy five. So we have. Five six is fifteen, and five five is twenty five. Five seven is the thirty five. Seven is the seven five is seven five is the thirty five, which is equal to four by five. So W is equal to four by five. First we have W, which is inversely proportional to one by Z. So we have W is equal to K Z. Put the value of W and Z to find the value of K, which is equal to thirty five. And we have put the value of k in equation number one, which is w is equal to k z. So w is equal to thirty five, and z value which is equal to one seventy five by four. Cutting it, and the the required answer which is w is equal to four by five. Last part of this exercise, which is If m directly proportional to one by n cube, and m is equal to two 
n is equal to 4 find m when n is equal to 6 and find n when m is equal to 432 so first we have given that which is m directly proportional to, to 1 by n cube and m is equal inversely proportional to 1 by n cube and m is equal to k n cube which is first equation so we will put the value of m and n to find the value of k which is m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4 so 4 cube and 2 multiply 64 is equal to k and 2 multiply 64 which is equal to 128 so k is equal to 128 put in equation number 1 so we have m is equal to 128 n cube find m when n is equal to 6 so put n is equal to 6 m is equal to 128 and 6 cube which is equal to 128 divided by 6 cube which is equal to 216 divided by 8 which is equal to 16 by 27. So m is equal to 16 by 27. The next which is find n when m is equal to 432. So we have m is equal to k and q put m is equal to 432. So, 432 is equal to k which is 128 divided by n cube 423 multiply n cube is equal to 128 and n cube is equal to 128 divided by 423. Taking cube root on both sides we have which is equal to 64 and 216 so we have n cube is equal to 64 divided by 216 and 4 by 6 so n is equal to 2 by 3 is the required answer so this is the questions of exercise 3.2 we learn in this tutorial i hope that you understand these questions so inshallah we we'll see in the next video allah hafiz